He's taken us places. He's shown us places that we never thought we'd be. And I want to thank God and I give him all the honor and glory for who I am and the ministry that he's given me. So I just dare you to just try God once. And I promise you, you won't never go back. Yeah. What I bring is not is not is not, it's not a religion. What I'm bringing is not philosophies or anything like that. You know, for a lot of people like to say, hey, do A, B and C and you'll be saved. Do A, B and C and you'll be saved. And then after A, B and C. You wonder, well, what's left after that? You're still left and stuck with a lot of questions and, and a lot of things. But the the when it you you slim it down and you narrow, you just you you whittle all the all the all the sugar coating away from everything, and you get to the point. What's going on is you got to have faith. You know, a lot of people try to try to put God in a box and have God figure it out and say, okay, this is God, this is God, this is God. But you know what? God can't be figured out. You know, a lot of people, they, they get interviewed and they're like, you know, they try and give answers. But the thing is, we don't have all the answers. It's all about putting faith in God. And through his son, Jesus Christ, you will be saved. If you believe that you will be saved. You know, you want proof. Let's take a step of faith. God's going to prove himself. But he can't prove himself if you don't take that step of faith. That's what it's going to take. He starts, starts with a little bit. Before you know it, you, you see God was faithful there. You see, we're humans, and we're sinful creatures. But yet, our word is one of the most important things that we can give somebody, is our word. And we're sinful creatures. Can you imagine what the word of a holy, the holiest of holies is? Who is who, who's holy? When he gives his word, in, how much more should that be true in, in, in your life? And when he says he's going to be there by your side, he's going to be there. When he says, you know, you know, you call me by name, you call me, I'll be there. Uh, uh, I will never leave you nor forsake you. It's true, man. It's true. T take your take 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 a step of faith and taste and see that the Lord is good. Um, any anything you'd like to say to uh, people who are going to church who at least have some idea of Christ? I mean, is there anything that you know other Christians? need to know that they might not know i mean i mean you guys you guys are really taking a step of faith i mean you're out there you're actually doing something and there's a lot of guys that just sit in the pews so i mean what could you say to them to, to the people who already got the faith you just got to keep pressing on we, we we get discouraged we get discouraged we see trials we see things happen but we one thing that's we've it's always said but we easily forget and we need to bring get brought back to basics is that it's it's not a it's, it's a fight to the finish it's it's a it's a it's a faith it's a it's a race to the end you know what i'm saying that you, you just because you get knocked down you got to get back up every single day is every single day is a, is a day of is a day of a is a new battle there was a song you guys did on right the stage, uh, what was it? when you're under pressure press, press, press on. on press on Right. You know, that's what we got to do. We got to press on every day. You know, we, we get blessed on Sunday. We want that spiritual blessing to, to last us through next Sunday. But, you know, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not promised to no man. So today is the day of salvation. So every day you wake up, you ask God to help me. Help me. You helped me this day. You helped me yesterday. Cool. Help me today. I need to press on. You know, tomorrow's not. I ain't going to worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. Help me today. Monday morning, help me today. Tuesday, help me today. That's what I would say. You just got to press on with that. Um, what I'd like to say is, is for, for, for a lot of Christians out there, the, I think the hardest part about a Christian is, is staying focused on, on not messing up and, 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 and concentrating so much on not doing something wrong because you don't want to relate, you don't want to mess up that relationship you have with Christ. My best advice for you is to find someone that you're close to that you know is grounded in the word, is grounded in God, is grounded in church so that you can be accountable to. You know, you got you got to have someone that, that, that when you're going to when you're when you're caught slipping or you're stepping away, not someone's going to condemn you and put you down and tear you apart because you did. You committed a sin because, you know what? God isn't looking at how many times you fall. God's looking to see how many times you're going to get back up and finish the race. You know, you got to find a, someone you can be accountable to. Uh, for instance, you know, me and Hita, we travel a lot um, other than just being uh, buddies in the music industry. You know, we're, we're best friends. And you know what? When I get when I'm when I'm slipping or when Hita's slipping, you know what? We have the relationship to say, you know what, he, you know, hey, bro, you know what, let's, let's let's pray, let's do this, let's do that. You know, you gotta have someone that can look, that can look at you and say you know, that that knows you well enough to say, you know what, this this guy's been missing service way too many times. I need to call him up and say, hey, what's going on? Get back, get back up here. Let's let's pray, 
that's getting it together. So my best advice to you is to find someone you can be accountable to, whether it's a pastor, a youth pastor, a friend. Just make sure that, that whoever you're going to be accountable to is, is grounded in the word and grounded in Christ. I know you guys said you was independent, but you kind of come together. Um, you, there was a couple other guys. Um, you want to tell me about them? If you, I mean, if don't step on anybody's toes. No, nah, that's cool. Nate G, man. Nate G was the one who was ripping it, ripping it up with us up there. You know, he did his, he he did the press song and he did a new track that we're all working on together. And he wanted to do another song. I was called Leaning to the Side, but we had to cut it short because time was a uh, uh, short for us up there. But uh, Nate G, man, he's he's grinding. He's working on his stuff too. He's kind of stayed quiet, lay low a little bit. But Nate G, you know what I'm saying? If you go to my MySpace, he's on my top eight. Him and Phil Dog as well. Phil Dog is one of the guys who usually travels with us, but he couldn't make it. He's working. And, you know what I'm saying? He's the one dropping a lot of the beats for us. You know what I'm saying? He's behind the scenes a lot, you know. And that's where he's anointed at. But he steps up there and he rips it just like the rest of us, man. And he represents. But Nate G was up here. You know, be looking out. He's going to be dropping that, 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 that hot stuff on you, man. Check it out. Now, uh, you guys got anything else planned soon? Are you going to be in the Dallas area, stepping outside of it, you know, reaching? Or um, what? what's your next event, or do you have anything scheduled? Uh, we do have something coming up December the 6th. It's a benefit concert to, to help out some of the less fortunate uh, kids out there, you know, to help them with some clothing, with some Christmas. You know, so many times we go through the holidays, you know, thinking about our families and ourselves. But you know what, I think it's time for us as Christians to show the love that Christ has for us and step out of that box and, and get out of that comfort zone and begin to bless other people. When you can walk up to someone that you don't know, walk, walk, walk up to someone that you've never met before and bless them in a way that, that I may not know what they need, but you know, but when Christ puts it in your heart and, and, just, and just puts that, that need in your heart and you walk up to that person and you bless them with something that they really need, and then you let them know, you know what, God put this in my heart to do for you. And, and they look at that and they know that's real, that's genuine. So this benefit concert that's coming up on December the 6th, um, I'll let Hita get more into details as far as addresses and everything. But if you want to be a sponsor, if you want to help us out, you know, help us put some clothes, put some toys under a tree. You know, we're, look, we're looking for the sponsorship. We're looking for some help for anybody out there. And I'll go ahead and let Hita get more into detail. Yeah, let, let, let me let me get into detail. <laughs> it's a play with you. What's called? Yeah, we got the he just, uh, second annual Christmas benefit uh, concert and toy drive. Uh, I got my I got crucified. They they do a reggaeton, merengue kind of stuff, uh, cumbia music. They uh, we got Lingo. He does rap. We got Moses Yavir who does rap. Uh, Pooh, Nate G, and Phil Dogger are gonna be there as well. My homie, Young Beezy. You know what I'm saying? What it is is uh, we're a ministry. Uh, we're doing this uh, to to donate toys to kids who uh, to families who who can't afford to give to their kids or you know we like I said we got one that's a uh, we, you know, we got we. It's it's just gonna be on December sixth. It's gonna be in Garden, Texas. Um, starts at seven p.m. You got three dollars to come in, or a new unwrapped toy is the admission. Um, and we'll be raffling off an iPod Nano, uh, four generation for ten dollars. We got tickets. You go to my MySpace to check out more information. MySpace T H A H E A T A. But the toys are to benefit um, this, uh, families who want to bless their kids with toys. Uh, the name of the place is called the Exit Warehouse. I'm not sure. I don't know the address, but if you go to my MySpace, it'll be there. Uh, MySpace forward slash the heat a T H A H E A T A. Um, we got the address there, but it'll be at seven o'clock December sixth at the Exit Warehouse in Garland. Uh, Hita, I want to thank you. And it's Pooh, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. I want to thank you. You guys are doing an awesome job out here. Uh, Lord's working in you guys, and I'm sure He's going to bless you. I look forward to seeing both of you, top of the charts. Uh, I mean, Main Street Christian music, I've, I've seen a lot of people just shoot right up there. But uh, is there anything else you guys want to say before we close this out? We've just got a couple minutes left. Uh, say what's up to the to the YouTube watchers, man. You know, check out check out the music. You know, don't judge it. Listen to it. You know, what I'm saying, see what's going on. Support your local your, your local artists, man. You know, these there's a lot of people out there grinding. There's a lot of people way better than us, man. That that just they they need that hand to get pulled up. You know, to be out there. You know, what I'm saying, and you know, for every believer out there, you know, what I'm saying, we got to press forward with the word. You know, today in Dallas, I don't know, but there if you know, but between the mid cities of Dallas and Fort Worth, Irving. And Grand Prairie had a small earthquake, man.